Last time I showed you exciting developments for the smart home bubbles. Now we have the option to show the toggle fields around the bubble and this way turn on a light or turn off the same light. And if we look at uh, the URL for this smart home bubble, you can see the on off field right there. And those two options show up around this bubble, this round table lamp. Also, I showed you a more complex bubble where I can turn on the sink lights in the kitchen this way by selecting first the device and then the option I want to control on it. And if you look at the URL for this one, you can see this has two toggle fields. Table, sink and TV is in one field and on and off is in another field and I can choose here to never show these options around the bubble or always show them or if both of these fields are turned off it will follow the settings for the cloud or the global settings in the app. The same options can show up around smart home bubbles on the watch and if their control codes have multiple toggle fields they also work the same way as on the phone. You can select them in any order and the watch will send the command after you made all the selections. You can enable these option bubbles in the settings and make always never type exceptions for each bubble. Create toggle fields by highlighting the optional component in the code, then mark the checkbox has toggle fields. The highlighted word will become the first option and you can type alternative options. Pro tip, you can add more toggle fields by long pressing the checkbox. You won't need to look for the pipe character in the soft keyboard either, just long press the checkbox to enter them too. Now similar options can show up around contact bubbles and I'm going to show you now how to set them up. So first we go to cloud configuration and until now we could assign the following five bubble actions to a contact bubble cloud. We could dial the contacts in the cloud, call them directly, email them or send them text message or show their contact card. Now the sixth option is to show these options around the bubble. The first time we tap on a bubble, we will be instructed to measure the cloud. Normally, Android doesn't provide positional information about widgets, so this needs to be measured and this screen explains how to measure a widget. Many of you already know how to do this, so you can just mark do not show this screen again. And we can click here to actually measure this widget, a position the green over the green corner, the red over the red corner and again precisely position it using these gray arrows and then I hit the check mark and now if I click on a contact the options appear around the contact bubble. This one is a pretty complete example. You can see we can edit this bubble right from here or we can go to the contact card as before or we can dial. Now when we dial this contact has two numbers on its card so after choosing to dial we have the option to choose which number to dial so I choose the mobile number right there. Alternatively we can choose to work with the business number and then we can choose for example to send a text message to this business number. The same thing can be done using emails. I choose to send an email and since this contact has two email addresses, one is a Gmail, another one is a Yahoo, I have that option right there. Let me go back to the card and you can see here the username is the same so Bubble Cloud will only show the part after the at sign which is different. It's kind of smart in showing the part which helps you choose which address to use. So I choose to send an email and I pick the Yahoo address and then I can 
prepare this email for this contact. Please support the development of this application with a 5-star review in the Play Store. And please subscribe and like this video.